Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be going over test question number two from the chapter eight part one test. Now it said the triangle below is a right triangle. Find the value of x using the Pythagorean theorem. Let's review what we've been doing this week with our algebra. The challenge here was not the geometry. I think everybody was able to write x squared plus six squared equals x plus two squared. Now because that is a binomial if you made a mistake, one mistake that was made was that you didn't put it in parentheses. Anytime you have a binomial and you're doing something to it, you should really put parentheses around it. But this is where the algebra got in the way of your understanding. So here's what I mean. This week we've spent time, in the last couple of months actually, we've said, spent time understanding what x plus 3 or any x minus any number oops, squared means, right? And um, I've cautioned you that it does not mean x squared plus 9. That's like using, that's like distributing your square, and that's just not an algebraic tool. Remember that when you square something, it's the same thing as multiplying by itself. So you actually have to multiply these binomials. Now you could do that in several ways. Um, some of you learned some technique called FOIL. It just really means the distributive property twice. So firsts, outers, inners, lasts. And I said, you know, if you've learned it that way and you feel comfortable, that's okay. You get this. You could use the area model and make a rectangle with sides x and 3, x and 3, and multiply. It's the same process, just visually. then combine the like terms. Or we did review the pattern that occurs every single time. Square the first term, double the inside product, square the last term. So that would be, square the first term would be x squared, double the inside product means 3 times x, which is 3x, and double that, so 6x, and then square the last term, which would be 9. And that's where we had some, we had some issues. A lot of you just distributed your 2. Um, so this should have given us x squared plus 36 equals x squared plus 4x plus 4. That should have given us x squared plus 3x equals x squared plus 4x plus 4. All right, so then you see it's quadratic, so you try to get everything set equal to 0. And what's really great about this problem is that when you do that, the x squareds cancel, giving you 36 equals 4x plus 4. And you solve the linear equation. It's linear. Why? Well, because the highest exponent is 1. And you get 32 equals 4x. You divide by 4, and x equals 8. Now, I was really proud of you because a lot of you actually guessed your answer, and you said it had to be a 6, 8, 10 Pythagorean triple. But um, I asked you to use the Pythagorean theorem, and this was a good question where I would want you to see how you can apply your algebra. That's a big one, guys. That's the one that if we're going to miss, it's gonna mi we're going to miss it big, and we want to practice. The, it's called the square of a binomial. And actually, we should remember that that square of a binomial is always going to give me a perfect square trinomial or a PST. All right, hopefully that was a helpful video. Have a great day.